All right, so we we know the oil is working. We know we can get it over there, but we can't get a lot. And uh, now it's only going to last for five more days. We have a huge deficit. So I think the next thing to do is obviously to increase our oil intake. And to do that, we're going to need more people over there because the, I think the limiting factor for me at the moment is is labor over here, right? We don't have a lot of people. 237 people, not a lot. And we need more uh, over here. So this... We're, uh, we got 10,000 weeks. There's 6.6 .6 million units of oil there. That's great. Uh, over here, we've got another, say, basically the same thing. I'm going to assume that this stockpile here, same amount, 6.6 .6 million. Okay. So if we can get all three of these connected, that would be pretty badass, I think. And uh, I think there's, you know, prefabs over here to help us expand, but we have got 11, 1185 of them. So we got a lot for now. So I'm going to just kind of work our way out here with the, the whole frost breaking operation try to get ourselves out there and then there's a housing deficit over here of course too so we need to we need to work on that so i'm gonna get a housing district once we have 200 workforce let's get the workforce thing sol solved okay so over here in new london you can see that there's a couple of uh, bits of resources on their way into new london right now and there's 15,000 people we've got a couple of pips here on the map and these are those frostlanders that are living on their own we can invite into the city. So this is the remaining Frostlanders we found a lot earlier. Like one of our first groups we found out here. So we're going to use a Frostland team to bring them in. And then same thing here. They would undoubtedly prefer to live in New London. These are the ones that are just kind of living out of those pitiful, you know, amounts of fish and things like that. They survive by sleeping next to each other. We'll go ahead and bring those in too. And we're actually going to send these guys. Oh, hang on. Now that the Frostlanders have departed, we can use the village to provide fish for New London. An outpost here could increase our supply by 100 food until its deposit of 80,000 food is depleted. We'll send resources to, um, like, yeah, I mean, we could send it to the old Dreadnought. Because we're going to need more people there. <clears throat> and there doesn't look like to be like any fertile land or anything to work there. So let's, um, let's send the food. But we have storage for it over here, though. We can always send it from New London over to the old Dreadnought, too. Let's have it sent to New London. I think that's going to be better, because we can always send it over there. Like, we have space for it, storage for it, and on top of that, I can start to take down, right, our food stuff. So we can, you know, put this back to zero, and we still have enough food. Wow, we are, we're cruising on food, aren't we? Uh, let's bring this down as well. Uh, wait, this is only using, okay, 80. Yeah, 80, 80 heat. Let's bring that down. Just kill it. Yeah, that's, we don't need that food right now. Uh, we're actually really fine on food. This is kind of cool. Okay. Uh, good, good, good. So our food is now at plus 50, and it is still rising, and we're getting very close to having it filled. It'll be filled in 13 weeks. I think probably getting another food stockpile is going to be needed. I have a feeling that food is going to be something that's very obviously very important but i think it's going to be something that's going to really hit hard when the whiteouts happen because i feel like our crops and stuff are not going to grow during that period of time i'm not sure if that's how that works in the game but i, I imagine it probably is so we're going to want to get a lot of food storage and really bank up a bunch so a hundred thousand units might seem like a lot and you know it can last a while i suppose but uh i want more so we're going to get another one there and it also reduces the worker count, so that's great too. Okay, so we brought in the people from the Frost. They're on their way in. We're going to use this outpost to bring in more food. We get another stockpile being built. And then we need to get out there to the oil, right? We want uh, the oil. Replicated from Frostland prototype. I'm sorry. There's just this... There's just this big notice in my face uh the captain himself ordered <laughs> this mine dug as new london coal began to dwindle but its hastily laid trail was lost to the whiteout so if we connect these trails through i, I kind of want to do it through the highlands because i think it'll be faster and i want to connect to this one this is our oil like intake i don't want to saturate this completely because i feel like we're going to send a lot of resources through here and we might max out the trail and need that skyway we can prolong that necessity it's going to happen anyway, but we can prolong that as a necessity by having this connected over here instead. 
So I kind of want to try that. So in 12 weeks, we'll know what's over here. And uh, we'll be able to do that. I think the gorge... You can probably see what's over here, too. There doesn't look like there's a whole lot as far as potential stuff over here. I need resources, man. Is this hunting? Is that what that is? Maybe some hunting over here in this area. There's maybe an encampment over there for some people. Some more mountains. High pass. That might lead to some other territories there as well. And I'm hesitant to use all my Frostland teams for this, but it's it's 15 weeks. 18 weeks, 14 weeks. It's, it's a long time to have 20 of my Frostland teams gone here. But, okay. I think I want to see high pass because I want to see what's back behind that. Like, passage here will allow us to pass through the mountains. And what's on the other side of the mountains, right, is what I'm looking for here. So let me go ahead and I'm going to commit to having resources go that way for now. And then, uh, yeah, a more permanent coal intake and having that uh, be better I, is something I am interested in. We will have the workforce very soon. This is going to require 10 teams. So as soon as we get the 10 teams from this, all this other stuff to come back in, we can commit them to this and get a more permanent coal intake because our, our burner, our, our furnace, of course, can, can handle all of it. So that's great. All right. Let's take a look at laws because the law proposal is possible again. So uh, their, their population is about to rise. It might be closer to 50% of the city soon. So I'm thinking probably what I'll do is weather adjusted shifts. We can't do any of those things yet. Uh, can't do anything, can we? Does it have to be proposed by them in order for me to do anything? Events and research can give it order. Interesting. Oh, maybe you have to research. Oh, I see. I see. You have to research. Okay. You know what? I think maybe we'll try this. Um, guided voting. Steward may declare a motion vitally important to the city's survival, curtailing debate and convincing many wavering delegates to support it. So if I do this, it looks like I've got 33 support for this print for now. People are pretty divided. All I need is all I, all I need is 51, right? Let's see if maybe, maybe this will, will pass. If I get a feel for this, these guys are mostly four, 10 against, hesitant, four. You know what? I'm, I'm into this. Let's just vote it and see whether or not they're going to give me that kind of power. Because that will help me into the future. Oh, we need 67 required for this. Ah, I, I, I thought it was a 50-50 thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoops. I thought it was 50-50. Okay. I, I, I remember now. It's a two-thirds vote on, on the rules. I, for, I had forgotten that earlier. Okay, uh, let's see what Tesla Peak is here. Mysterious towers. Tall towers can be spotted on top of the, these peaks. Further exploration has been hindered by the constant winds and shearing glaciers around the site. Our scouts have noted that some tunnels by Tesla City head in this direction. We could outfit an expedition to try to reach the site from underground. We need 30 Frostland teams for that, so we'll come back later for that one. And then, uh... Still have to connect this one, man. Uh... It's just more resources to go around into there. I want to go. I want to go in a straight line. I will wait for that one. Okay, cool. I think everything's good. I'm going to let this run for a little bit here. Um, oh, but before I do that, probably better to uh, focus on this in here. Let's get our housing district is available now. We can do that. So let's go. Uh, I believe this will be fine. I don't believe it'll up the squalor. Unless you get all three. I might be wrong on that, but we'll see. One. Housing district. Okay. Housing is good there. And then I want... Well, I can't do this because it takes workforce to break. Okay. We'll have to send more workforce over here. But now that there's housing here, we'll be able to do that. So, real quick, we're going to come over. Old Dreadnought. I want to send people here. Let me send... Yeah. Let me send, like... 500 people close close to 500 people let's get them over here so i can work that other oil drilling area too i believe frost breaking is like a temporary job right so like after they frost break it that labor frees up i want to say is kind of what happens there 
Uh, research, settlement, heating, and skyways. Yeah, oh, we're working on that one. <clears throat> I think we are anyway working on that one. We have settlement furnace right there. And then uh, constructor upgrade settlements to have a significant population. Yeah, well, I think this will probably be our first settlement because it's like ready to go. It's showing me this arrow and everything. I don't think this one can be a permanent settlement. It's just this it's just this outpost that will eventually stop providing. And then this one over here, we could set up an outpost over here too, which also sends food. And I like this too. 10% uh, production efficiency. Help our minds. Eh. No, I think I like this. Getting more food coming in, I think is going to be a pretty vital thing in the future. As our population grows, I'm going to want to use more in-house labor or in-town labor for production of resources and maybe less towards food. Plus, we don't have the unlimited deposits anymore, so eventually we might run out. So I think establishing a way to bring food in is probably a pretty good idea. So let's establish that whale mining outpost. And then uh, there's 80,000 food here. I'm hoping that maybe we can turn this into a more permanent settlement in the future. And it looks like with this... Yeah, yeah, it looks like it might be possible to do that with the little arrow and stuff there. Like this one has. This one can be a settlement too. So I think maybe that's a possibility into the future, a permanent settlement there. All right, it's a colder season, so we're going to have a bit of a problem. Now, labor did show up here now, so we can uh, go ahead with the frost breaking. Let's get this broken out. Uh, we can actually go that way with it, because we're going to have to eventually get over there for those resources anyway. So we'll break that. And then I also sent enough labor so we can break other things too. So let's get into here, so we can maybe get some of these abandoned huts here for the prefabs that we might be able to get there because i sent the extra labor here we're still a little short on housing so we can expand this district uh well provided we have the means of doing so which i don't have at the moment so uh we'll have to wait for the frost breaking to be done and then we can expand the housing over here let's just real quick speed up time frost breaking is completed we'll start with the extraction district i don't want to i don't want to not have this so We'll get that first, and you know, I think I'm actually going to go like this with it. It seems like a weird shape, but if I can get it connected to everything else, the heat requirements, right? It's always better that way. And then uh, the logistics district. Now, is there a real, is there a reason to, to, mail, to build this? I don't think so. I don't believe there's any reason to build a logistics district in this area, unless I'm just missing something obvious. Because it doesn't allow me to build it here. I mean, maybe... Maybe it doesn't allow me to build it here because it's not frost broken, but uh, I don't know if that if that matters because we are we're already sending the resources. You don't need it to send the resources, but getting housing built in here would be nice. Plus twenty heat, sheltered from the wind and everything. Let's uh, frost break out this way. We we may we may need it. I don't know. We'll we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and then this right here, it's uh, no access to resource deposits. So this is empty. There's no more prefabs here. We can delete this then. But if we do that, then the heat requirements for this will go up because it's not connected to the furnace anymore. But this is this is our source of oil. Mm. We need it to be connected. Well, it's touching this one, but I think it needs to be more significantly touching it. Tell you what we could do is we could create industrial district in its place that would do it and that way it could take well i don't know it's just making prefabs though right out of materials which we don't have access to over here there's no materials over here we could maybe send materials over here and then send prefabs back but i don't think there's a reason to do that and i can't expand this anymore so i think the the heat requirements on that's going to go up but i don't think it'll be i don't know let me see is the see right now we get Extraction district, negative 20 heat demand from the extraction district. Oh, is it because it's off? I think it's because it's off. If this is off, then this isn't getting the benefits anyway. Am I reading that correctly? I think I am. Let's go ahead and just, let's just kill that. We don't need it anymore. It's not doing anything for us. And then we can maybe work on getting another housing district over here next to the furnace. At least we'll get, at least we'll get that. It won't be, it won't be up close to this. We'll get 
you know, one, two, three here, and then we'll expand housing out that way. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, if it looks like I'm a little indecisive or I'm, you know, not super fluid on the plan, it's because that's about how it is right now. I, I, I'm trying to kind of adjust myself to the new conditions of having multiple bases and the sort of like the different requirements that are going to go into that. And I'm also kind of waiting. I need my Frostland teams to finish what they're already doing. And we still have the violent criminals. But I have, but I have materials. Must clean up any Population size. After the event. Okay. Population size is causing this. Oh, it, well, okay. So there actually isn't enough shelter over here anymore because I brought more people in. We can fix that. So this will be near housing district one, two, three. No. No. This is not frostbroken. What? This well actually this housing district can just be expanded, right? Yeah, we can just do uh one, two, three. Something like that. And then also frost break all around the outside. Like that. Have another housing district out this way too. So let's expand housing a little bit here. I want to say we have another district out here. We could probably expand as well at some point. Uh, no, not housing wise. Maybe this one. This one could be expanded. It could be expanded to one, two, three. Let's do that. So gotta, I got to give more homes for people so that they have a place to live. And the population thing is not hitting them so hard. All right. And then from there, I should be able to get another housing district. One, two, three. Sheltered from heat. Four, five, six. We'll just wrap this district around the outside like this. And kind of connects to the other one over there. So that housing district should provide the difference. At least I hope. All right. 99%. Settlement furnace is done. Research is done. So we can now do that. Now come back over to settlement heating we did that and then what was the other thing we needed to do it's uh oh and skyways 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 okay so skyways are frostland right here yep and all of them are all they're all in unified for this they're all like yep this is what we want we agree with this idea so you get the skyways going as well and that will allow us to upgrade the trails into well yeah skyways so we'll have the carts and stuff instead of walking these trails we'll have carts that are bringing things or around and obviously much more efficient and have more a higher capacity there as well i think all right right tools for the job city development effort steward some service workers aiding our prefab production are asking for better tools i don't make it don't make a lick of sense we muck around with basic tools while advanced machinery sits idle waiting for operators said one volunteer one-time worker or sorry full-time workers are wary of the idea it takes training to use these machines safely training these weekend workers just haven't got i think i've seen this before but i think we reloaded because of the the weird thing with uh like it was my fault of course uh but like the weird thing with how the oil and stuff was coming in um so i think i am gonna have only professionals use it because i i feel like that is the right way to go but if my relations keep worsening with the faith keepers like that could be like i'm already they're already pissed off at me i need my relationship to go up with them may cause casualties provides more prefabs <sighs> i still think this is the right thing to do i need to do something for the faith keepers to keep their to keep them happy with me let me go in here really quick <clears throat> and um I want to fund projects. Let's see. Uh, help fund projects beneficial, beneficial to their community. The larger their population, the more heat stamps required to fund them. Let's let's do that. And uh, 162 join and relations improve. Okay, it's fine. I, I just need the relationship to go up with them. So I'm just going to give them a few heat stamps and say, hey, I'm sorry about how shitty I've been for you guys specifically. Um, here's a couple of heat stamps. See if that's uh, something that you're interested in. So we'll try that out. Okay, so this housing district can now be expanded and we'll just go one two three on that side And then this one is already full, but I need to go with another one probably so let's go 
Yeah, right here. We'll go uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. So kind of getting these districts to be pretty close together, right? And then if I can get not a food district, but a food storage, food stockpiles. Yeah. If I can get, uh, I was kind of hoping maybe the food stockpiles would connect these guys, but I expanded it incorrectly, didn't I? Yeah. Well, it's what it is. Um, is there anywhere I could put this that provides me another benefit at the moment? Uh, right there. Yeah. Work workforce thing right there. Okay. We'll put that right there. I want more storage for this stuff. Need it. And then material surplus too. I think probably getting a little bit more storage there could be helpful into the future. Some of these more advanced buildings though, I think are going to be more helpful. And a hydraulic pump jack. Sounds good. Outputs more oil. We could maybe do that over here. The old dreadnought, right? I know it's going to have some health defects or health side effects on this, but we could... Maybe do that here. Yep, right there. Boom, we get more oil for that. And then uh, we can do another one if we have the workforce. Yeah, but that's going to give us more oil. And that's really what we need over here anyway. Uh, okay, so let's expand this district. Get a little bit more if possible. We'll just go this way with it. One, two, three. Done. And then finally, the thing I wanted to do, which now I don't have the workforce for, is to get prefabs production over here. We don't have that yet, so we're going to have to wait. But yeah, more oil coming in. So this place has a plus 135 now, and its stockpile is full. So let's come over back over here to New London. And we don't even need to do that. We're just going to come over here. And you can see that New London... This is not the right view. Here we go. You can see that New London right now is being heated entirely on coal. We're dipping into those reserves. We only have 13 weeks. If I can send more oil here, that is the preferred thing to do, right? So let's go over. We'll do this really quick. And we're going to send 5K over here so that we start dipping into that. That helps us build up our coal reserves. But then I can send more. So I'm going to send more oil over here. So we'll keep maybe... The population is going to grow over there a little bit. But we're about to hit warm, warming season. Yeah, we're going to have two warm seasons uh, pretty, pretty quick here. So let's just do this. Send as much oil over here as possible well, we're getting close to the limit on what we can do on this trail so we need that skyway to improve this i think um and then this also requires a little bit we need materials over here so i think i'm just gonna have meat demand so we're gonna send 170 materials that direction and then we need to probably increase goods production to where we can send it over here but that that's good i like the meat demand button that's good um and then I think from there, we're pretty solid. Yeah, transfer resources. Okay, so just kind of redoing a little bit of our logistics, moving some resources around just a little bit better. And uh, again, we need to increase how much oil we are uh, we're handling over there. So I kind of want to send more population over there if I could actually. Uh, our spare workforce over here is 2,600 people. More goods production does make sense. With our, with our materials that we have, we have the ability to output more. Um, we can expand this district, in fact. So why don't we do that really quick? We'll just go... Uh, ooh, actually. One, two, three. Yeah, near extraction district. That's great. Plus 20 heat. Okay, we'll do that. Um, we'll expand it that direction. Yep. And then this one can be expanded as well. And we'll have this one expand one two three this one can't expand anymore if i recall correctly let me double check that so i don't lock it in yeah this one can't expand anymore so we'll have this one expand this direction one two three done okay both of these expand both of these are going to have to be reset back to goods though after they build they go back to default on prefab so we'll just switch them back really quick there we go and now we have a plus 20 on goods I like it. I like it. Skyways is nearly completed. And then we'll do another industrial district right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. And then right here, we can put a material storage. Bop. Done. All right. So that really just expands it right out here. That's a big thriving city kind of thing now, isn't it? Evolvers support the steward. Devoted relations. 
Steward, good news. Due to good relations with Evolvers, they support health treatment efforts. They think it will help you solidify your rule. We want, if we want their continued support, we should maintain their approval. As long as relations with the Evolvers are devoted, their assisting treatment perk will remain active. Evolvers will periodically heal sick or injured workforce. That's really cool. All right, so we have some devoted people that are going to give us some benefits around health. Good. Um, let me take a look at this again. I realize that I've... I, I need guard enforcers. I, I think I want this because it can put down disruptions, keep the peace. We have a crime problem, right? And that's I think that's where I kind of want to do here. So I'm going to try this now. Obviously, we have some people hesitant, but I'm going to propose this. And it needs a two-thirds, right? This little black here, little line here, I think is is uh, what's needed here. So I do need to negotiate with most of the people who are not really in on this. Faith Keepers are against it. These guys are mostly four, and these guys are hesitant. So let's talk about the New Londoners. See if I can't get them on my side. So Community Action, New Londoners. Uh, grant Agenda. Let New Londoners choose the next law to be voted on in the council. I think we can do that. I think that's not a big deal. Um, we could also try maybe getting into advanced fracturing to get the oil output to go up. More material demand on these things. Significantly increased squalor. I don't really like any of those things. If I just let them choose the next thing to vote on, it's very possible that it doesn't go into law, right? It's just a vote. And we could also do favors for other groups that might vote for it and to persuade them to vote against it. We can still do that too. We can vote against it. So yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to let them have the next agenda. And we already have, at this point, we're already going to have six, uh, 62 four. We know that there are 62 four. We only need five more votes from the 24 that are hesitant at that point. I'm, I'm liking that. I think we're going to do that and let's hit the vote and see what happens. If I can just get five out of those 24, there it is. Okay. So we now have guard enforcers. I think that's going to be helping me with my crime issue. I'm hoping anyway. Uh, yeah. Leadership grows a little bit more centralized. I'm hoping that that does help me with crime issue. We'll see how that goes. Um, significantly decreased by guard squads. Extremely increased by population size. We need... Maybe, maybe we need to do this, actually. Are there specific buildings... And I need to put, uh, not the shafts, not the food. No. Yeah. I, I thought maybe there was like a specific, like prisons and stuff, right? Prisons are a thing. I just haven't researched it yet. I think the prisons go in the housing districts that may have problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We need that. Use grant agenda on new Londoners. I need, I need to do that in 38 weeks. Granting agenda does not assign research increases relations. Okay, yeah. So these guys are devoted, and now the Frostlanders are also devoted. Yeah, they are. They're both devoted. Oh, yeah. This is good. Um, what are the benefits for having these guys devoted, though? They seek to pass community service. Uh, does it say what their benefit is? I don't think so. This is their manifest. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Unlock, train workers, community action. Good relations perk, treatment assistance. That right there is what we get from them. I don't see that on the Frostlanders, so maybe having them devoted isn't that good. Um, Faith Keepers would have decreased tension. Yeah, I guess um, because they're not a faction, right? The Frostlanders are a community. The factions are what pro provide those perks. Okay, so community, having community devout doesn't seem like it's a big deal. And also, communities don't have these little squares above their heads. So it's really just the factions that do this. If I can somehow get the Faith Keepers to be not causing extra crime, that would be great. All right, cool. So we have an abandoned mine outpost active. The fishing village is doing food. We have Frostland teams now available. Uh, I think in maybe right here. We only have 97 coal remaining here. So if we could get a Skyway connection, we can get a settlement here. Okay, so we have the workforce. We just need this, the Skyway now. And then uh, over here, I think it's kind of the same thing. We need trails. 
And the trails are going to go really far out. And we'll connect it here. Yeah. Or maybe we can just connect it directly here, though. Uh, let's, let's do this. We'll go one. And then we connect it to this. Right? Yeah. And that should connect the trails all the way in. But then this becomes... That, that, that's going to become very, uh, very busy in a little bit here. Uh, the hills are done. Let's check this out. Abandoned Lazaret. Is that how you say it? Lazaret? I think so. Built. I don't know what that is. Uh, built hastily during the 1901 plague. These buildings were used to quarantine infected New Londoners. Well, now it tells me what it is. Uh, they now lie silent and forgotten. Scores of wood... Wooden crosses, a grim reminder of what transpired. Should we decide to disturb the dead, dismantling this place could yield some raw materials. Heck yeah, man. 300 prefabs is not... 300 prefabs isn't really all that much, though. Let's come back later for that one. It's not that much. Uh, we have a little bit of tension. I, I don't want to increase that right now. Wise woman camp. Our scouts have met the wise woman, for which these hills are famed. Some are, in fact, New Londoners who left during the captain's first days. They would be pleased to return to New London now that we have a council, and they say that they can bring some cores with them. However, some of the captain's most loyal followers consider these women traitors and think that they should remain exiled. If we take them in, relations will worsen again with the faith keepers. Oh my god. Uh, we only get a little bit of population. It's the cores that are cool about that, but we're not really, we're not really at a shortage of cores right now. We start doing more with them, then okay, but I don't think we need that right now. Extra mouths to feed and stuff right now. I have good labor too. So let's come back to that later. All right. So this temple, inside this abandoned temple, our scouts found a circle of frozen naked bodies laying around a strange idol made of ice. Nearby sat a pile of faith keeper robes. The temple has fallen into disrepair. We could salvage it for prefabs, but the faith keepers would prefer that we destroy all evidence of this place. So if we salvage it, more prefabs. I don't really want my relationship to go down with the Faith Keepers. What temple? We will erase all evidence of this place. I think that's better. This is a really cheap, very easy way to just get more relationships or get a better relationship with them. So let's just do that really quick. We'll say, hey, what temple, man? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen this place before in my life. Uh, okay, so what I want to do now is get the trail from here. Now, this is not very far, is it? These hills suck. One... Uh, two, three, four. Connect there. Yeah, I have to wait for that to be done before I can get the trail to continue. And I want to get that trail connected here. Pretty much. Yeah, okay, let's go into... So there's this valley, valley down here. Um, let's go into... Actually want to go through here. Yeah, Steam Valley. That sounds interesting. Steam Valley. 20, 20 teams go investigate that. And what's this? In the heart of the mountain pass stands an old loading station, likely used to connect Outpost 11 with the distant hot springs. Hot springs. Inside, we found a body of an elderly man who had frozen while waiting for a transport that never arrived. That's sad. We could rebuild the station. Oh, we have no need for this unless we reestablish connect, uh, contact with the hot springs. Yeah. That's probably in Steam Valley. Or we dismantle the station. No. No, no. I think we can use can use Steam later, right? That's something we probably can use later. So, uh, no. We're going to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> leave that alone for now. Not bother with it. All right. Cool. Let's let the time run a little bit here. Uh, the trail is being... Has it been built already? No. It should be... Oh, this, the trail is being built there. Yep. This trail is being built there. We're doing a lot of stuff on the map. I'm, I'm pleased with our progress so far today anyway. It's maybe a little bit uh, dis disjointed will be the word I'll use right now. It's maybe just a little bit disjointed, but um, we're doing things we need to do. And uh, I think we're, we're moving in a, in a good direction here so far. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know about the whole like not using oil more efficiently thing, but we do have a surplus over there at the old Dreadnought and New London well, we are once again dipping into our coal. However, however, we may be able to. It's kind of risky, but I'm doing it. We're just going to pop that over there. Now we only have 260 here. Let's pull this back a bit so that this thing can 
save up just a little bit more resources. Man, that amount of oil didn't do hardly anything for me, did it? That's crazy. It's like two weeks of oil and that's it. More people being murdered by violent criminals. I've got to do something about that too. Let's go into research really quick. Is there a way for me to get... Um, the skyways are done, so we can now build those. Housing block, work compensation, maintenance duty. I want... Uh, oh, I have to move towards equality to get some of these things. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, you have to move your society in a certain direction before you have access to those things. Let's do watchtowers. Crime is slightly decreased. Yep. 12 guard squads output. I like this. Uh, patrol watchtower would be better. There's no heat demand for that. That's something the faith keepers actually like. Wow. Hey, I like this. Watchtower designed to quarter a large number of guards and optimize to allow them to deploy quickly. It's twice the workforce requirement. So we're going to have more workers dedicated to it. I almost... The heat demand, though. I don't want to add heat demand. We get more guards for this and there's no heat demand. So I'm going to research that idea. Faith Keepers will like that. That's good. We need to start doing a few things for them, you know? All right. Rallying Evolvers propose ideas. Oh, good. Steward, the Evolvers have extended their rallies to a new district. During the most recent event, they announced a new idea regarding a new work model. They drafted a new law on their own, Apex Workers, and now present it to the city. We've done the work. All the steward has, done, has to do is put it to a vote. They call on you to pledge your support for the law. What is Apex Workers? This harsh world has no place for weakness. We will solely rely on the fittest and strongest workers to push them to achieve their maximum potential. Heat demand is decreased for all districts and buildings. Production efficiency is significantly increased. Is that it? That's all that happens with this? There's no downsides to this? Um, if there's no downsides to this, then that's what I want. That's awesome. Okay, let's let's do this. We'll pass this. We'll go into there. There's uh, four weeks left. We also need to grant agenda to, on the new Londoners as well. But we have 34 weeks to do that. So I say we pass Apex workers, and then we grant them their agenda. After that. I have to believe there's some kind of downside to that, right? I, th I figured we would have like a reduction in workforce. Because we're only relying on the... The strong, that kind of thing, right? That's what I thought it would be. Um, can we make the Skyway here? It says no Skyway connection, but... Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to do this. There's these two buttons down here now. So, so Frostland Teams, Heat Stamps per segment. Allow shipping 600 units of any resource. That's what we need. So let's go from here to here to here. Right? Oh, do I need to do that little segment again? No way. Come on. Is it like right here? That's that's good. I guess it has to be like that. Okay, we'll do that first. Get the skyway built to there. Um, and then also, so we can build another skyway right here. I need to start getting more capacity on this. I know it will be needed soon. So we'll go from here first to here. Just to get that skyway set up as well. We will need that eventually. And then we need the trail now from here. Cost not mad. I don't have the Frostland teams to do this. I just I just ran out of Frostland teams. Can I get more Frostland teams via doing... Uh, I need heat stamps. I can wait on that. We'll get that soon. There we go. Survival's headquarters. Yeah, right there. Pop that there. We can get more Frostland teams going. Can we build another one? I think I've already built one of those headquarters on both of these areas already. I believe anyway. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it definitely looks different. Oh, that's awesome looking. Yes, that's super cool. Yeah, and the Frostland teams are already done doing it too. They do, they do that pretty quickly. Once you have the trail done, they're, they're pretty quick on that. So if I go here, it just doesn't count as being part of it or does it? 
think it does? I don't think so. I think I need to go just a little bit further on that. Oh, that sucks. Is that what happened before? With the trail? Let's... Ah, man. Yeah, we're still sending the food. It's almost out, though. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to do that because I can't have that permanent settlement otherwise. So I need to go and do that segment, I guess. We'll go here since it costs for the same on the segment anyway. And then I need what? What's the what's the limiting factor right now? Is it just heat stamps? That's nothing, dude. That's nothing. Let's just zoom time ahead really quick. Okay, stop. Now we have the heat stamps. Like, it was it's nothing. So let's go one, two... I don't want to do a small segment like this. I guess you have to. Maybe we start it from here. If I do that, will it work? Oh, that's weird. I'll take it though. So if I start here, I can make it. But if I start there, I can't make it. Okay. One segment. That's all I wanted. Okay. And then uh, right here again, we have the Frostland teams to do this now, I think. Connect to that. Oh, you're not going to let me, are you? Let's try it again. From this side to here. There we go. That's odd, but okay, I'll take it. All right, so we have the Skyway set up uh, for this side now too. Now, the Skyway here is only from this point to this point. So, because this is where these two trails come together, I don't want this to exceed what the trails can do. So together they can then meet here and then load and go. I'm, I'm hoping that's a thing. But if you need the Skyways to go all the way up which I suspect this does need that then I'll have to go and do the skyways again there so I have seven teams and I'm pretty sure it takes 10 yeah okay so we'll have to wait on that and then also there's a, a, a point right here found cores oh okay so there's just an extra little point there I see we had we had something there before all right, we can create settlement here if we have the Skyway connected and also a Frostland team. So we can almost do this too. An extra settlement there as well. Okay, once this is completed, we can then create settlement. Permanent resource deposit. Done. And we send 1,200 workers there to be there. And now we have a coal, settle a coal mine settlement. Output is 400 infinitely. That's it. That's all it takes. Just 1,200 population just settles here and that's it. If we expand the operation, we get 600 coal. Whiteouts will no longer disable the settlement. Okay, that confirms it for me. So whiteouts are going to disable these settlements unless we do some extra stuff. Another 1,200 workforce is needed, but then that's it. So we'll always have the coal input. And look at this. Now we're only down 60. We can almost satisfy all of our heat demands purely on coal right now because of that settlement. So if I can get more workers... That'll be fantastic. I just need people to stop killing each other and we'd be fine. Uh, bringing these people in. Bringing these people in will probably do it. Slightly worsen with Faith Keepers, but I'm going to do it. Slightly worsen, but I, I just gave them some things that they like. So whatever. We need people to get in here. And we'll also bring the cores with them. And that will give me the available workforce. That 500 people will be enough to make that permanent. And then we'll be able to handle the cold there. Now, we're going to be able to handle the cold anyway, though. Okay? We're going to be able to do that because we're going to have a warming season soon. Warmer season starts, warmer season, and then cold again. That's going to reduce the heating requirements. And that will get ourselves, like, taken out. So, like, this 54 weeks worth of coal, that's going to be extended. Heating requirements are about to drop. And then this will be a positive number at that point. So, I'm, I'm all right with it. Uh, okay. So real quick check on things here too uh dreadnought is there anything i can do here right now you only have 95 available workforce so not a lot i can do here i'd like to send you more people but i need i i need more people we need to find more people um 32 teams let's go into let's go into the valley and then there's this now this is what i'm, ho I'm hoping we find something steam related in here Okay. Wow. I don't like this. I see the button offer to take infants and I'm like, oh no. Hot springs. Many small mo mounds, sorry, under a cliff attracted our scouts attention. They discovered hundreds of infant skeletons. A track 
from the top of the cliff leads to the hot springs. We can only assume they have their reasons for doing this. Perhaps they can offer to take any children the hot springs. Perhaps we can offer to take any children the hot springs cannot support. Offer to take infants. Population is marginally increased. Percentage of active workers is slightly decreased. That's okay. We have people, people that will have to take care of the kids, basically. So that will make it to where we can't uh, expand that coal mine. But that's okay. For now, because of the warmer seasons, it'll be fine. We're going to take those infants. Got to save the kids, man. All right, hot springs. Settlement population, approximately 3,500 people. These hard people live in deep reverence, uh, reverence of the natural spring, which they believe can cure any ailment. Their simple hothouses and subterranean housing are barely enough to support their population, so their culture ensures nothing is wasted and no weakness is tolerated. They are skeptical of outsiders, but perhaps we can convince or force them to allow our sick to heal at the natural spring. So if we have access to a trail to the hot springs, we can reduce disease. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, dare I say, hey, that's pretty sick. Access the hot springs. So people say that they will give access if we rebuild the loading station at the high pass and their mushroom experiment somewhere in endless plains. Okay. This might be endless plains. Uh, I don't know where endless plains is, but I think that might be it because it says plains. Hmm. Well, first off, we need to rebuild this. So we want to rebuild this. Requires a trail to the city. So first thing we want to do is get a trail in here. So this will be from here up to here. Maybe we can go from this settlement. It'd be cheaper, wouldn't it? If we go one. Ooh, maybe not because it's still multi. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. I think it's still possibly the same cost. One. Two. No, it is cheaper to do it that way. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Um, we will start from here. Let's start from here. All right, we go one. Oh, wow, that's so freaking... <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> it doesn't go very far, does it? This will work. All right, we'll have it go to, from the, to this settlement. That should provide us a path where we need it to be. So we get that trail done and we're good. Um, in the meantime, let's take a look at these plains in another age these plains might have been a fertile paradise but now they're simply a stretch of barren flat featureless snow we could potentially do their uh their stuff here we might find goods here too we could potentially do their mushroom experiment thing there so we'll see how that goes we're already in the valley and yeah frostland teams wise like we're we're stretching our resources thin i think i'm like i'm using them pretty well you know I think we're uh, using them to the best of my ability anyway here. Um, I just need to have another survivalist headquarters. I need more. I need more workers. I need to bring more people in, don't I? It's really kind of necessary to bring more people in. And there's no other way to do that without using Frostland teams like all over the place. Yeah, I just need more. I need more teams. I'm surprised there's not like an old outpost on this side. Unless I've just missed it. Like another logistics area on this side would it makes sense to me, but it seems like there's only the three. Got the iron vein, shallow iron vein. Uh, you know, these little extra buildings that are just lingering out here now. Like there's no, none of those old things are out here. Unless it's buried in the snow somewhere. Yeah, I just can't get another one. So, like, this, there's only three ways in, basically, is what I'm seeing. I would have thought there'd be another one here. It looks like there could be. See how the, the drawings on the map? There's, like, these little hooks, you know? And this is kind of goes with the ones we're hooking into. I, I don't see that. And, like, it looks like there's clearly a path that could potentially work for that, but I don't see it. So, for now, I'm going to say there's only three. Yeah. I would have hoped that I could use this somehow. Maybe up on top of the hill or whatever, but not, not looking like it. All right. To increase the potential for people to come here, expanding housing districts does, would make sense. I can't believe we're still having a really good food intake. 
You know, like 100 plus 102 food is still happening. That's awesome. And then this is, there's not much going on here. There's only 40K or 70K food here, but we can make a settlement. So I mean, that's, that's another permanent food intake, right? For sure. All right, let's hit this button. It's been lingering at me for a bit. So let's just take a look at it. Violet Jennings, 19, Porter, delivering supplies from the new settlement. Everyone's asking me about life out there. Aren't you freezing? What's the food like? Are there any cute guys? What do I tell them? Yes, it's bloody cold. Soup smells like shit. The guys too. <laughs> but that's not the point. Being a part of the first settlement in my lifetime. A chance to breathe air other than New London. To do it right this time. That feeling. It feels like something to live for. Our first settlement fully operational. Evolvers rallies expand to new high rising district. Another high rise district. Okay, uh, real quick, we need to make sure we do these things. So we have 20 weeks and 20 weeks on both of these things. Pass Apex workers. I think that's a really awesome thing. Let's get into the council and look at this. Radical law on agenda. This is called a radical law. The current law on the agenda goes beyond what the common citizens find thinkable. It will be more difficult to pass than others and once enacted, it will be it will radicalize both for and against factions in your society. Oh, so it's not just all positive then is what you're saying. Crazy. All right. The harsh world has no place for weakness. We will solely rely on the fittest and strongest workers and push them to achieve their maximum potential. A drastic step towards adaptation. Heat demand is decreased. I love all of this. For all districts and buildings. Like everything across the board. It's great. Production efficiencies significantly increased. Just from all sources in extraction, production, and food. Awesome. What do I got to give you? Mostly against. Against. Uh, mostly four. And of course four. Now, it says it'd be harder to pass. Do I still need... Do I still need only... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, Apex Workers. This is this is the proposal on the on the docket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I need, I assume fifty one percent, right? I don't have guided voting, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So. I think I still need fifty percent. I may just get this. Right? It's possible that we just get that. But given that this is only this is only 57. And these are mostly four. So I, I probably will have to and they won't nobody else will negotiate. Oh. Nobody will negotiate. So this is just this is just vote then. Okay. Let's see what happens. Need 51. Oh. Has been rejected. We didn't get it. Uh, we didn't get it. So evolvers are probably going to be mad about that, I would assume, because it didn't pass. It says we have 20 weeks left. I may have to negotiate that later. And then I need to grant agenda on the new Londoners, which... Well, let me see if I can even do this. So council is in recess for nine weeks. Okay, so in nine weeks, we can try this again. As soon as it passes, I can then use the grant agenda on the new Londoners. So I should still be able to get both of these, I think. But that not passing, that hurts. And the other the other sides won't negotiate it either. Um so uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a problem there, huh? Now, for this settlement. I need to expand that too as part of the Embrace the Frost. I need to expand this. So that just requires the 1200 workforce. I don't have enough workforce for it. So my Frostland teams are out, you know, in the Frostland trying to find new survivors to bring in so I can have more workers. This isn't going to grow on its own, but New London should be growing on its own, right? We have a, we have also a spare housing for everybody too. And then I'm waiting for the warmer season here because our coal is dwindling. 66 weeks 65 weeks yep 
Evolvers rallies expand. Okay. Like I need you guys to get more than just 10% of the city. Okay. Like I need, I need you guys to get a higher population. Steward empowered by your support. The Evolvers have extended their activities to new, new district. Their members can be seen on every corner and they now hold periodic rallies near the district's main hub as well. They ask again what they should focus on in the next supporting the city. Well, uh, contribute more workforce. I would love to have more people available. Yeah, contribute more workforce. See if we can't do that. There we go. Now we have 2,000 available workers. That's all I needed, but what's this? This just shut down for some reason. Oh, it doesn't have any more left. Extraction district is done. Ugh. Okay, well, there's no more prefabs there. Uh, I think we were getting... No, we were getting materials there. There's no more materials there. Now my materials are at a... I think a bit of a problem there. Okay, let's, wait, let's break this down. There's no more materials there. And we need to get another extraction district for more materials somewhere else. Um, now, ooh, hang on. Would it have been possible? Can we cancel that? Can we cancel the demolition? Is that right? It says demolition in progress. Can I can I cancel that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it. Uh, either way, there's there's uh, some extra materials right here. We can maybe start to get. Okay, warmer season is here. That's good. There's gonna be another warmer season too. We're gonna be able to build up our coal supply really, really well with this. So that's great. And then also because the heat demands aren't that great right now. I might be able to send some more oil. So there's only it's only 1,200 over here. And actually, it's negative 11 at the moment. So I need to send less oil even. And yeah, I need that to, to keep going up. So uh, we have a plus 26 here. We can try to meet demand. But we need to expand our goods production if we do that. So what, why don't we make sure that goods are always available in New London? Like this. Yep. Why don't we do that? And then we do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's try let's try that. So now they're going to start you know bringing into their resources there. They're going to start, you know, uh digging into that, but they have a good surplus to start with. And then we can expand over here on New London a little easier. Okay, materials is the next thing we need to do. Now, I could maybe get these guys to produce more goods, you know, more better if I uh, give them a building of some kind. Salvaging factory. Plus 10, plus, more, plus 40 goods. Yeah, it just adds to the heat demand and increases disease potentially. But we can plop this right down here. That would help that district. And then... I want to see if there's any other survival. Can I do any more survivalist headquarters? I don't have one here. Really? Pop that down there too. I want more Frostland teams. I have 25 now available. Let's check this out. So a coal mine settlement. Right now we can expand this. That satisfies the embrace the frost requirement up here. Um, but we don't, we don't need to expand it just right now. We can do it later, right? And uh, now we can propose another law. So I think once again, I think we try this again. Uh, we need we need to propose this again. It's this going to be the same vote, right? It's going to be the same thing. And I don't think there's any way to negotiate this. So what I need to do is get all of the Frostlanders to vote for it. Basically, they're the only ones that are willing to negotiate. If I can get all of them to vote for it, that gets me 57 votes. So Frostlanders, what do you want? Everyone must aid expeditions. Uh, exploration time is slightly decreased. I really do like that now. Um, grant agenda. Uh, let's try this. We're going to enact expedition support next. So that means I have to do this one after I do whatever the other group wants, the new Londoners want. So basically, I don't get to choose the laws for the next two sessions. Because it's whatever the new Londoners want, and then this one. I guess that's fine. All this... This is something I want. I need this. So, okay. So this allows me to guarantee the vote will pass this time. Vote. We should have 57 people voting for it now. And that's all we need. The vote 
Okay, 63. Measure passes. Okay, we did it. We, we gave our we gave our word. Everything works. And now what we want to do is we pass this. Oh no, this is the, this is a new one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the next thing to do is to grant agenda to new Londoners. Let's click this first and see what it is. Astrid Donovan, 24, scout and training. Mantras before an ice bath. The frost won't stop me. The wind won't catch me. The snow won't slow me. I will accept the cold. I will adapt to the cold. I will surpass the cold. I'll be the best scout they've ever seen. This ice is nothing to me. You set the city on course towards the adaptation cornerstone. There we go. All right. Uh, I want to grant agenda to new Londoners. So new Londoners grant agenda. Let the new Londoners choose the next law to be voted on in the council. Done. Okay. Good. I did the thing I said I would do. Final thing then. Construct and upgrade the settlements. Significant coal intake. Me likey. If I expand this now. Again, it's not needed now. Would I would be better off to expand into getting this one set up instead. All we need is the Skyway. Doesn't it be better to do this? And then we harden this one so the food always comes in. I want to get more oil too. Man, I got to find another another place to get oil. All right, tell you what. Let's look at that. That's super cool. I can go all the way out there. Way, way cool. Way, way easier. We could even go that way with it because we might want to get one out here too, right? So if we go over here right now and then over, I wonder how much more expensive that would be. Because there's already one here, right? So we just go like this. And then we go there. Yeah? Yeah. That way I can just tap onto that. And that's a skyway now. Awesome. Uh, I have 33 Frostland teams left. Let's get this Skyway to happen too. Right? Like that. Okay. Skyways for everyone. Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then this right here. We want to do this, right? Access the spring. So we have access to the... We have access and a trail to the hot springs. We can reduce disease. Uh, didn't I do this already? Oh, no. I did it to here. I did it to here. So we want to... Just do a trail. We don't need a... I don't think right now, anyway, we need a, uh, a big big thing. So we go one, two... Oh, so close. Come on now. Three. And I don't have enough for that. Let's try to start from here. That trick worked last time. Start from here. Go one. No, it's not going to work. It's just too rough terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll go like this then. One. We just almost get there, you know? Oh, wait. No, I don't think it'll let me do that. Yeah, I, I have to. I have to stick to this. Okay, we'll go here, and for now that'll be it. But I have to get to a post. I think I can't just. I can't. I can't go just to here. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'll have to wait to do this then. It won't let me because I'm. I'm down. It's just the heat stamps. Well, it's just the heat stamps. Hang on. S start the. Oh, I can't. I can't have the clock run while I'm in that view. Okay, stop. Now I can do it. All right, heat stamp. I thought it was a workforce thing. Okay, so one, two. Maybe we go this way. Is there a reason to go that way? Maybe we to get to the valley later? But we can always do it from here. Not a big deal. Just get that path going. All right, you know what, guys? I think... This video is probably pretty damn long by now, isn't it? I just keep going, dude. Some of that sometimes you get into games and you just you can't stop. You just love what's going on with it. And that's me right now. Uh yeah, definitely. 45 seek protection from crime, it says. 45 seek protection from crime. Enlist to Steward's militia. Uh Steward's militia must be enforced. I'm not doing that yet. Yeah, make promise, promote condemn raise funds oh i get it it's like i tax them extra no no no. i want to uh if i promote them their fervor will be decreased hmm they will gain members and potentially secure additional seats in the council i don't want to do that 
<laughs> I don't want to do that. Okay, tell you what. Come on back for the next one and see what I do want to do next, okay? Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.